Is that gonna be hanging out too far? I think it'll be okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be putting glue back in there, so it doesn't matter how kind of a hole it is, you know, how good it is or anything. Of course, it's not, it doesn't matter if I save the, about deep enough, it doesn't matter if I save the, uh, the flat side, the, 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 the little bit of flat side that's left in there. Yeah, let's blow this out because I've got my grease on there and everything. Oh, I can't, I don't want grease in there. Uh, I think I need a bigger hole than that. I kind of hurt my fingers a little bit. Wasn't thinking, I didn't realize what gloves I had on. I think I'm going to go up a size because I really need room for my new epoxy to take this off before I do that again. Ow, take them both off. They're starting to sweat anyway. And the glue that's on them is drying. Yeah, your bare hands are safer than that. Tape on that thing. My hands don't have no calluses anymore. That hurt. It, the putting it right in there, it won't spin. And, I, and that stops it. That's why I was doing it right there. That actually is going to burn me to cleaner material, I think. So I know that was a quarter inch. I'm going to go get my calipers and actually measure something for a change. I usually always do that. I'm just in a hurry, really. So I've got a hole that's, I may go up another size, let's see, where's my, that stuff drops fast, 300,000, well, 275 thousandths, so that doesn't really give me enough space for any of that thick junk to go in there, so I'm going to go up another size. Let's see. I might want no let's go ahead and use that. That worked really good. Well these regular drills are probably gonna be better. Except for I don't know if they're big enough. Let's see. Now that I've already got a hole in there, those are wood drills with a real sharp point on them. Yeah, that's only a quarter. 250. It's only a quarter inch. So the next one up, oh let's just measure it and see. This one is Three hundred thousands. Now, what would that be like around that? Not enough. Okay, the next one is the next one is the biggest one I got in the kit, so that's going to be the, the winner. The wiener. That is three hundred and twenty thousands. Three twenty, probably about three eighths. I think. Let's see. I think they're marked. Gosh. Hmm. 3H is 375. This is, uh, just remembered, 5 sixteenths. I knew that was something wrong when I said it. What? Okay, that should do, yeah. Won't bust out the sides or anything. I think that that's going to have to do. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's deep enough. Okay. Now. 
Try this one more time, and don't jack around telling stories this time. Okay. I usually put that where I forgot. It does. I keep it in here. Can't remember how I usually do it like that. Somewhere in that area, it'll just just fit. That might be alright. Okay, that doesn't stay in there though. Gloves, we're gonna have to go back on. I'm gonna blow this out. Let's look at look down into it. Okay, so when I put it on there, I'll just put it on there straight, up and down because I left it in the straight up and down. There's several, three off positions. I left it in that one. So. <clears throat> Okay, I know. I'm wasting time taking an air bath again. Just a little one. I always thought, well, why don't, they call, why don't we call it air shower? That makes more sense. But uh, that's nobody. Nobody called it that. And if I said you want to take an air shower, they'd say what? And finally, I'd say air bath, or they'd finally figure it out. Oh, you mean air bath? But, you know, a bath, you're sitting in the water. They just couldn't understand. You sit in the water, take a bath, shower, you spray yourself with water, right? So why, if you spray yourself with air, then why wouldn't that be an air shower, not an air bath? But, you know, people are the way they are. Okay, so, uh, get enough, but I had what, well, you mean it doesn't matter if you waste a little bit of it. You can't help it. I don't know, I might want to get a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Now, that plastic is pulling off. I don't know. Well, I get, I'm hoping that this little cap will keep it safe from ruining. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I got way more than I realized. But you're supposed to keep on, like, kneading it and folding it over to work the, the well, the epoxy and the hardener together. You can see the dark stuff. I guess that's the, probably the hardener. Yeah, because you put more epoxy than you do hardener when you mix it up. I don't want this on my fingers, but it's really sticking to this now. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to do any more. I was worried about not getting it mixed well enough, you know. That's why I kept doing it. And all of the sudden, it was hardening. And there was no way I was getting it... Some of it broke off. There was no way I was getting it on there. Hopefully I can get it on there this time. Yeah. There we go. So, you know, that that was not much bigger than that. So, quit moving it, stupid. I keep, I keep thinking, okay, I'll use this extra for something else. But I don't have nothing else, do I? I do have this spot on my... No, that just mess it up. I used uh, I, I won't show it uh, right now. I've got too much to clean up. I don't know where I'd put it, so we'll put it in the trash. Now let's make a little ball out of it and see how what it's like once it dries. There we go. I'll put it somewhere to let it dry. I'll put it on my desk. I'll put this grease up. I'll make a JV weld. <laughs> Epoxy ball. Uh, see what it's like when it dries. <gasps> oh, I can't get down there and do that. Okay. I was going to put that uh, old bracket that I made up into the, the toolbox. I, did, I just realized that that's the toolbox sitting right in that area where I was at. It's it's a very old toolbox. I think it was my... Gr that might have been the one that was my papaws. Yeah, I think it is. Very old one. And uh, one of those kind that steel, all steel, and you open it up like that and it folds out trays. Uh, the only reason I didn't use well, well, it wasn't too heavy for me when I was young, but 
stuff fell out of those trays. If you carried it around, you know, put it in your truck and I tried to use it. I, I don't exactly remember. <clears throat> Again, vaguely. But the stuff would fall out of it too easy. If you open it up real fast, stuff will jump out of there. So, uh, it ended up, when I came back home here, I ended up here with just all kinds of car parts and odds and ends, nuts and bolts in it and stuff like that. Still very useful to me. Okay, I got to thinking recently, I see people with, well, they make them out of wood, you know, as projects, but I see people with, uh, I don't know where to put that glue. Ugh. I don't want to put it in those parts. I think I'll just put it in there with those screws, and then tomorrow, then I'll see it and put it up. I usually like to put that <coughs> back on it. Yeah, it's got the instructions. So I'll put it in that box. It's bigger. <laughs> <coughs> so I just got drilled epoxy all over that. It not hurt anything, but I can't get it to pick up. I guess I'll give it the air shot tomorrow. Or do something about it. Oh, the vacuum's right here. Ah. Yeah, I'm too tired to pick up tools or anything. I'll pick up these smaller ones. But I uh, get these gloves off. They got glue on them. If I need gloves, I'll get my get my leather gloves. But uh, <clears throat> okay, I believe I have done everything I can do today. And I'm kind of pleased. Seems like everything's working out okay. See, so is there anything? No, that's where I got the wire wheel out of, so nothing's missing out of there. The latches are broke on this. This is a little black and decker set. It's actually been really handy. The drills are cheap. Oh, you can't hardly drill steel with one of those steel drills. You'd get a, one or two holes and it'd be ruined. But if you, I just try to use that for wood, <clears throat> all of those stuff. Well, and the drivers are all good. Every one of them's good, and uh, I do have some better, some somewhat better ones, drills. So uh, I'm gonna put some things up, and uh, I always jabber when I'm done. So I guess I'll jabber a while before I turn off the camera. I don't know why, but it must make me feel happy or something. So. Uh, Plans for tomorrow. Yeah, when that tomorrow that should all be dry. Uh, that that glue is gonna dry pretty fast, so it could probably be dry in a couple of hours. Enough to use, put enough to put back together. But I'm I am too exhausted to do anything else. I gotta eat. I gotta get a bath. I'm gonna pick up these things. I'm gonna leave this big stuff out. I might need some do something like that tomorrow anyway. Go turn this light out now. I probably made that all too white to hard to see what I was doing in that camera. This is the craziest camera. Oh, this this goes uh, back in my room. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think how many things do I want to carry that direction. This. Nuts and bolts. I don't have to put it all away, but I want to get my tools put up and stuff. Okay, I'll carry this. It'll probably want to fall off of there. And uh, get it put away. Nuts and bolts, yes. Just going to put them over here with all the other screws and nuts and bolts and stuff. There you go. I usually always work down here at this end of the garage. That's where all, everything is for working. 
but uh, that was not can do that you know that, that's where the project is is up there this time and it provided its own workbench so that was cool so I can't believe it I mean what I don't know what time it is I don't even know I could look at that camera but I'm not going to do it uh, I think I'm going to put these screws in that box I might move that from where it is because it could end up being moved knocked over or something before I get back to it uh, these tools, I think maybe I can put those on there and take them down there. All that, well, the washer, the box is sitting on the washer. I'm going to leave it to. I doubt anybody's going to want to wash until they can use the dryer. I'm not going to want to, I know that. So, uh, hammer! How can. No, if I put it, started to put it somewhere where I would never see it again, what would happen? Okay. I'd lose it. If I put don't put things in the same spots, I've been putting them in for years. If I, sometimes I think I found a better place to put stuff, and then I can't find it. Sometimes I have lost stuff for a couple of years, you know, and then when I see it by accident, I can't believe I suddenly remember, oh, I did that, you know, usually. And I can't believe how long I lost it. It was here all along, you know. Just where I put it last. So, put you back in there. So I have to stick with, even if it doesn't, I don't like the way I do it. Sometimes I stick with it. You know, I get tired, of, I don't like the way I do it anymore. Sometimes I'll stick with it just to not lose stuff. But, uh, oh, let's see. Oh, that other one's in my nut driver that goes in the, you know, re detachable nut driver. I think I know it's in my watch pocket. Yep. Now that's something I've done most of my life, so that I usually remember to look in my watch pocket. Usually. Sometimes they go to the washer and get cleaned up. But they usually make enough noise that I find them again. Okay. There's my... Yeah. Screwdrivers, nut driver. Needle nose and pliers. There we go. And my quarter inch socket set. Oh, every time I bend over, I nearly just collapse. I really am that tired. Well, I was trying to think. Well, I, like I said, I got up at 9 or 10, and I don't think it's 9 or 10 yet. I think it's probably around 7, seven probably about 8, 8.30, I'm thinking. So at 9 or 9 o'clock, I've been up 24 hours. And I can't believe that. that I made it this long. So I've been up pretty close to it. I may have to look at my some kind of clock here in a minute and see. I'm going to put that hammer right there on top of that stuff. I'm probably going to want to get at it again anyway. I'm going to leave everything like it is till tomorrow, all this big stuff. I never usually do that, but I have gone extraordinary measures to get this far. And uh, I just can't go any longer. Really can't. So, this drill will need to go in the house. And there's my multimeter. Trying to just roll the cord up so I won't catch it on something. Trying to carry it in. And these things I will move from here.
I've been keeping all these screws and parts in the house, but I don't don't know if I want to really need to carry them in. I don't like where they're at. It's for for their safety right now, so I don't want to just leave them there. This parts box. I wanted to put this glue somewhere. Yeah, I'll put it in this plastic old cookie t hold, tin. The new cookie tin, a plastic cookie holder. Uh, the new type of cookie tin. Uh, keep that from getting. It's on the work. You can find it easy, you know. And the t the one new piece. Yeah, the one new piece of <laughs> felt left can go in there and keep it clean. That'll do. Nothing but used parts and a new piece of... Well, I do have that. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I'm going to put it in here. In the, the dryer. Thermistor. Couldn't remember that word all last several hours. The thermistor. That it may not even actually fit this dryer. Uh... Put it back here where I've been keeping this box. <clears throat> At least for now. It's not a real good place. I just put it, and it turned out real good because I put it there where I could see it because I didn't know where it was for a while. I had put it in a different place where I usually keep it. And, uh, it's so crazy. This wear remarks from the clothes rubbing on this. It looks like a fancy painting of something. It doesn't look like the holes are real when you walk by there. It looks as uh, like a painting <clears throat> or a uh, <coughs> digital. <coughs> if I could get the right angle on that, I could make a cool looking background with that <coughs> with the camera. Okay. Uh, put my multimeter in this uh, box of parts. I think I'm just going to carry that in. I don't know where else to put it. There's not a safe place out here in the garage. Uh, and my, uh... This, okay, let's see. The battery. I need to put the battery back on in here. Uh, take it off of here. Uh, these can be hard to uh, get off sometimes, but that came off good. Oh yeah, these these the big ones have a when you mash a button wherever it went. I accidentally mashed it. There it is. It's got two bars. And the other one I mashed it on an accident just now. But the the Dewalt battery don't have a button like that. Yeah, it's got three bars. They're holding the charge really well because it's been two or three months since I've really used them. I mean, I used them a Ted here and there, but uh, I haven't had one. Either any of them run down on me yet while I'm using it. Uh, I haven't been using them all day or anything. So these are just, you know, way better than uh, the 18 volt batteries. I don't have to have everything stacked in that chair. I was just thinking I would be better, better off getting it, getting it all if I had it together like that. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna say bye. Oh yeah, I gotta take the camera in too. All right. So tomorrow I'll finish it up. Hopefully, <laughs> if I'm not dead to the world. I mean, that would kind of defeat the purpose of kill. You know, kill myself today and then not finish it tomorrow and still can't be used. I gotta get it to where it can be used. So, and that's I'm not gonna be a real long thing. You know, I'm not gonna say how long because I'm always wrong about that. <laughs> anyway. Okay.